Messier fight, able to use that very effectively. Will Angeletti do the same? Okay, let's touch gloves. Special block, Sueta. Trunks. Oh, Talk about the flashy shorts of Vaya. What do you think about these, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Those are on my eyes. on what we said in the last fight that who loses, who loses the fashion battle. You might need a similar strategy from this year. Right yeah. out of the Dominican. See, he's got that white leg. He has a little bit of that Junior Jones look for uh, yeah. the same weight. Definitely looks the part. He's really only 28 years old, right in his physical prime is Angeletti in Russia. I fought everywhere. Down fundamentals. That standout amateur career. Really hard to find. You know, he's a shorter man, comes with that high guard either, which makes him a very dangerous man. Flashy shots, some good speed shots, but Rob Stades holds that position. High guard, so he can get right back and, and stress about and stress Angeletti. Valdez also boxed for the national team. In the match, fights with a lot of confidence. Again, guys who have power. Valdez likes those phone booth fights, likes to get inside. For the later guys of Anthony Lee. Ooh, good, good sweeping left hook from Valdez. Yeah, Angeletti has to be careful going straight back like that. Yeah. That's what he said. He talked about his fight. Valdez thinks he found left hand. Angeletti, you gotta, you gotta Valdez. That's what he wants to drag you to, right? He wants to drag you to this. a speed advantage. He's very athletic and funny to do that, and also the speed to do that. He gives Valdez the chance to sort of play in the mud like this. I mean, only increase the confidence about this. And way to put it, champ. You know, your feet are stuck. You're not really yeah. moving, and it's a dirty fight. Right? Yeah. You know, we need to look for to put you in a position to be deceptive. And I think Angeletti got tricked a bit here. It's easy to keep a distance. You thought, ah, oh, this guy doesn't have that much. I'm going to stay in the center, and he's getting hit with some big shots now. Valdez. You should be controlling the game. This fight from then use those feints with his feet. But I hit the... Uh, but I never will let him... Some moves from Angeletti. Anything about pro box, gentlemen. Yeah, you see again right yep. there. Angeletti, a guy like this, until you domesticate for big power shots that complicate it, unless they they present themselves. No. Pro box TV. When you make these even fights, makers in recent years when, with, with with bad matchups. This fight pulled his way in a little bit. See, Valdez doesn't really do. He, he, he sets traps. You saw a few seconds ago again. Angeletti looking for a lead. Sorry, he missed it. He went over the top. And he's again. You're in the mud. I can remember in the gym. I got into a big gym war. In the, in Great the, fighter. Yeah, I got into it. And he's thinking it's there. And that's something Angel Vision ever straight right. And, and Vernon had a beautiful. monster right hand. But he, you know, he knew how to, how to, you know, sometimes betrays him. You know, he's a, he a more than he needs to. But Pauli Malinazzi part of him. More of a bull in a china shop. Valdez, like I said, a lot more deceptive on his for shorter fighters. Having to get inside to come at different speed. You can see that even just looking past he, that a, a little guy who jabs with the taller man. You can jab with Paul, as you pointed out. Again, with the lead hand, you can shoot that jab. You can also kind of be hand. You see, he's just looking to throw, right? There's all of us sitting at the table thought that was insane. And this is multiple times. Showcase his skills. But he needs to take advantage of this. Very capable. Valdez. Valdez is coming out of nowhere. In the well, that's what we say. We don't have opponents on guys, essentially. Ooh, nice head movement coming out forcing the right hand is Angeletti. That's what I mean about that this. He, he will punch him. Angeletti, he's tall, he's long, but he's giving it up. See him. There's, There's a little free. His punches here, which means he needs to be more active. Well, 16 wins. And aiming from Angeletti, it's dirty. It makes it all rough once you miss a power. So it's going to take too much power off them. It's going to get no. Better work with the jab from Angeletti. I like range a little bit this, better. Yeah, this is what Angelica should be, have been doing from the beginning, using that lead jab and left hook, getting creative with that front hand. Great space and openings. Answered often. Not everything's landing any that cleanly, but just to keep getting the salvos off. Each disadvantage, but just able to get inside that and then change your height and see what reaction. Overall, the overall combination of things that Angeletti could, could what he naturally brings to the table. I like that, that hook off the jab. Jab, nice stab from the jab, and he'll put the left hook upstairs. He's a short guy for the weight class. He stays short. Things do get through. He doesn't get him. Very good point. Very explosive. Very, very strong. Okay. He's able to, to even hold because he's got a steep in right position. And that shell and dancing back with a combination. Way done, gentlemen. He blocked or, or misses altogether. Back half of this 10, 11 and 0, seven knockouts. Versus Geraldo Valdez from the Dominican Republic. Six. Really gelled. Terrific. Good awkward for both guys. 
a super clean shot, Leonard. A lot of that, like, partially blocked yeah. off the glove. Yeah. So that it show, it shows you the strength of Valdez many sometimes. Paul, you were never a, a giant in your weight class. The idea that Valdez, he's used to people trying to bully him around, right? He's used to people trying to push him a little bit. Oh, he's probably used to being the shorter guy. I was taller than some of my opponents, actually. But I love the necessarily game pushed around on the tape, Jimmy. I mean, yeah. He has a very strong top you don't, you don't see him taking a backward step very well. All the advantages. The guy along the ropes. What did he do with those choices? Not a whole lot. But Valdez right back. <laughs> One of those fights that not gelled really. Yeah, I don't think odds makers, because this year and last year probably, Boxing odds makers have actually had to work and they haven't shown that they're that good. Ooh. Good hand position there from Angeletti. Catches that left. Oh, nice. Good angle there from Angeletti. Finishing this round really strong. Nice that's the best. And a body shot. With some really nice combinations. Outstanding. Angeletti was interactive, fan friendly. <laughs> For sure. Out there in the box. Between post fight discussions, during the fight. Shot from Angeletti, big left hook, going from Valdez. All the boxers, all the stars, all the big from Angeletti. And to peel away now, these last couple rounds. Good defense, good ring generalship, let those hands early on in the fight, certainly doing it now. Even if it doesn't land, the show, but it just makes it ugly and makes it uncomfortable for Angeletti. Angeletti's finding his distance now, yes. using nice hard foot feints, stepping with the jab and a check hook. We'll control range here with uh, against Valdez, maybe probing, probing, use the left hand probing like for a few rounds ago. See now, when you probe the measurement, be jabs, and now you've got accepted lead hand. And you see it's, it's working beautifully. This fight's a battle of real estate. When Valdez in his place and keeping him there. Angel and Val Rivalry's going on in the Super Chats. Oh, it happens all the time. Angeletti versus Valdez. Once he's got a seat, he's got a check hook. Good. That with other boxing fans. Boxing news, we're on air daily. The better side, I mean, every for a boxing fan. You have J-Rod's horrible jackets, everything. Really, everything really? you need. Advice. Oh, took combination, backs up Valdez, that hurt. That hurt that bad. Hurt. When you see that vein in the neck, that's you know a guy's hurt to the body. I still oh, love another that. shot to the body. Oh, Valdez oh. in big trouble. Oh, the body shot. I told you, man, we had a different just Everything's changed. Yep. Veteran moves from Valdez, oh, trying to hang on, but he is good. And so that uppercut is about yeah, time. That started yeah. all the trouble for Valdez. Now keep Angeletti off of him. This round has changed things a lot. And from there, it's been shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, now look, now look, Angeletti, now look the difference back close range. Before Valdez at close range, oh. he would get physical. Beautiful roll counter. Oh. There he is posting at that lead hand now. Ooh, man, it's pretty. He throws tech. Calling confidence as well. Right uh, a little bit. End of round number eight. Uh, interviewed Gary Jones. Go check that interview out, guys. Round number nine. Oh, Michael Angeletti, gigantic favorite in this. ATL Unanimous Boxing. Hold him. <laughs> after the last round. Amateur background. Oh. So hard to let it. Yeah, it's, it starts to wear on you. And Valdez was very durable early. Was very adept at catching those shots. But Angeletti. Ooh. He shot again on the right side. Cut is, is again back. Ooh. He's low anytime he wants to. Because he's got to be, he opens up the straight right hand for Angeletti. Angeletti fainted. Totally different. Says that. He wasn't enjoying the early rounds. No, no, he didn't. Very but it's definitely found, found low, found his range for all night long. You talk about that, it's really starting to gel. For gel. Oh. Yeah, and what it does, it basically, when you throw that uppercut down the middle, it closes the arms yep. clo up tight. So you oh, open up the sides. Up. Boss of those body shots. And you open oh, up the sides, which open, which is, you know, a oh, clean body shot. Her bad to the body. Boxing, there dude. you go. Her bad yes. to the body. Those uppercuts. Number nine. Valdez. Bell yet again. Oh, now she's a big sure way in our co-main event. Angeletti still ahead on the scorecards, but in the fight where is He's had Valdez hurt in the last couple rounds. His corner said, finish it out. I think it's going to be really difficult for Valdez to see the end of this fight. Inside two, give him, making sure he creates that space. Get chosen for those big fights. Valdez's distance, while Angeletti would love to get a finish and sense it. Valdez is in 100% survival mode at this point. Real difference. That's where we've actually seen the, the precision of those body punches. Oh, they're using the uppercut. It's the right hand to set up the left. Tightens them up yep. close. So therefore, they together. 
And also it's something that may not oh, parent to everyone on the Pro Box TV app. Those body shots here in the arena are studding. You can yeah. almost feel them from ring. It doesn't always translate on TV, but it's true. The acoustics in here are fantastic. Not seat in the house either. The energy's great, man. Fans here love it. Yeah, I think it was round seven on. It was really, I mean, Angela to show skill. And still undefeated, Michael!